use the four pillars is really what matters here. Chad. Thank you. Um, we know what you said yesterday about Trey Gowdy and the investigation. Do you stand behind all of your congressional investigators looking into these issues? Because there seems to be some dissonance. And what are you doing to make sure that they are getting backed up? Yeah. Absolutely, I stand behind. Look, all, let me all of them across the board. Oh, there, 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 there's some disunity. Yeah, I don't. Not not in my part. Let me let me take a step back here. Okay. It is Congress's job to conduct oversight over the executive branch, over every department in the executive branch. But honestly, it's our job to conduct oversight over every department in the executive branch, but especially departments like the Department of Justice that affect our civil liberties. So it is our job to conduct oversight. And so that is why you've seen frustration. Frustration by me, frustration by Chairman Nunes, frustration by a lot of our members that the foot dragging by the Department of Justice uh, should not be tolerated. And so it's funny, but because I've gotten involved as Speaker of the House is why we've gotten as far as we've gotten. It's why we've gotten the documents that we've gotten from the Department of Justice, the briefings we've gotten from the Department of Justice. But frankly, Chad, it shouldn't take a Speaker of the House to have to get involved every one of these times to get the Department of Justice or any department in the executive branch to comply with congressional oversight requests. That's what's frustrating to us. And so we received an oral briefing two weeks ago, but what we are asking for and what we require and we expect is the corroborating documents that back up that oral briefing. And last night, they could have brought it to us today, and they chose to do it next week. That doesn't help. Frankly, the sooner the Department of Justice complies with all of our document requests, which are legitimate document requests, the better this is going to be for everybody. And had they complied with these document requests Earlier, when we made them, we probably could have spared the country of all this drama. Let me say one more point. In all of this, in any of this, there's been no evidence that there's any collusion between the Trump campaign and the President Trump in Russia. Let's just make that really clear. There's no evidence of collusion. This is about Russia and what they did and making sure they don't do it again. And about us, the Congress, the elected representative branch of government, conducting very legitimate oversight over the appointed executive branch of government, and we expect them to comply with all of our oversight requests because that is how good government works. Last question. Juan. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Going back to immigration, uh, has the president and the White House been engaged in any way in this process as the immigration debate has moved uh, forward? Have you Absolutely. We, we, we spend a great deal of time uh, speaking with the administration on this. Obviously, the president's the one who gave us the four pillars that he talked about. And so what the, it doesn't work if we don't have a bill that the president would sign. So what we're doing is having these conversations with our members, revolving around the four pillars, and working in close con contact with the administration to make sure that as we evol evolve legislation, write legislation, it's got the president's support. There's no point of it if it won't make law. And a bill only makes law if the president signs it into law. So that is why we're working hand in glove with the administration to make sure that the solution we come up with together as a conference is one that will become law. That's why we're working closely with the administration on this. Thank you, everybody. Thank Appreciate you, it. Sir. <laughs>